Hi everyone, uh, welcome to qualitylearning.in. Uh, this is Shanmugam and uh, I will be your training coordinator and a quick round of introduction about myself. Uh, I am Shanmugam, uh, having, uh, having a wealth of experience in the field of software testing, having about uh, 8 plus years of experience in particular functional automation and uh, security testing front. I'll be your training coordinator for software testing with Quality Center, a brand new course uh, as part of qualitylearning.in. So, this is a free webinar, and I would like to walk you through the agenda first, and uh, then we will get going with further information. Today's agenda we will talk about first the targeted audience. What is this all about? What is this course all about and who it targets in particular? Then demand for software testers. A quick overview of how the demand as of now uh, among the software testers in the field of information technology. Then we will also talk about what makes a good software tester, followed by course contents walkthrough and what's the course outcome all about right so as we have already seen the course name is software testing with quality center so we are going to get uh, introduce you into the world of software testing how the testing is actually performed in the field of information technology along with the processes and key terminologies key quality stuffs around software testing right so the targeted audience uh, this is going to be a basic program with a little bit of advanced topics in it so it targets fresher who are ready to explore or ready to get into software testing or get into the software industry as such and students who are trying to explore the market or people who want to learn more on software testing front can also undergo this course this course is so balanced that even a non experienced or an experienced but also a non IT professional can start off with so we will start with the basics of computer and then we will go on as what the software testing is all about so we will talk about the process, we will talk about the life cycles, we will talk about various parameters involved in testing. So this particular course targets the entry level professional who wants to explore their career into the field of software testing. All right. So now a quick overview of the demand for software testers. Uh, we can see very well it's taken from indeed.com a popular web uh, portal for exploring the job markets in the US and the rest of the world as well so indeed.com you can see the percentage of matching job positions uh, right from Jan 2006 to Jan 2013 it is a little bit declining however there is a plenty of scope and market for software testers so people who want to get into the world of software testing or into the world of software software testing is a kind of easy route uh, I would say rather uh, the best route to enter into the software field because uh, you don't need to put so much of um, logical or coding abilities I know people who have got coding phobia or people who are reluctant to write code can first start off as testers and then improve their logical abilities and then move on to their respective areas of interest right and a quick overview of what makes a good software tester first of all you should have the passion passion to learn and to explore new things and interest in the field of software testing that is a must Unless you have the interest or the passion and in, uh, to explore yourselves, then it is very difficult for you to enter into any field for that matter. Your technical ability 
expertise to bring in more value. So you have to have a lot of technical capabilities in the sense understanding how the technology works. So that for that, you should have basic understanding of all the components of the system, basic understanding of your testing or development, you call it anything. So it's completely an testers usually see an overall approach like a tester should have a hands-on or can have an idea about the overall picture about the system so that he or she will be able to bring in more value and able to test very effectively ability to understand the business strategy so what business demands are the domain so you should be able to understand the domain perspective of it. So each domain has its own specific value. For example, a finance domain, for an insurance domain, a manufacturing domain, uh, you know, what is it? Retail domain, a real estate domain. So these are all different domains wherein people have explored or people have specialized interest and start exploring their career in that particular arena so testers don't get stuck to one particular domain because we are all horizontals we are not verticals whereas we are all horizontal we can work across domain but we should be in a position to understand the key perspective of the business the ability to prioritize and strategize which is very very important it's a key aspect all these are, you can take it as seven principles or to be a good software tester. You should be able to prioritize and strategize your work. How to prioritize? Okay, this is important, this is urgent, this is not important and this is not urgent. And strategize your testing skills. Okay, if I approach this problem this way, it may not work out. Rather, I would take an alternate route. So, you need to Put in your efforts to bring out a strategy and adopt and then apply that strategy to be successful tester. And then ability to adapt, learn and share, which is one of the ultimate goal I would say. You should be able to adapt over a period of time. You should be able to learn so that you will be able to grow a professional. So communication is a key in this industry. Everyone knows that, especially for testers, you should have a professional communication and a clear demarcation between what you do and what you have not done. So in the sense, when you communicate, you should be precisely and put your point forward that what has been done, because we are the final quality gates for the particular product or application. We should have a clear communication to our stakeholders or clients or to our um, product owners so that you will be able to interact effectively. Sometimes you will be in a position to interact with people across the globe of various culture, of various accent, of or various people who follow various of what is people located across the world. So communication is a key aspect and you should have to improve if you are not up to the mark or you should have it so enhance your skill on that area as well and finally ability to work as a team in any industry this is the strength of any organization you can be an individual contributor but if you are put into a team how could you perform in the sense how you and could you understand others problems how could you understand others opinion you should welcome others opinion share care and love which are key important aspects so on the whole you should have all these components or all these behavioral skills for you to achieve your goal or to become a very good software tester you should be you should not be one among the lot, rather you should be unique. So that's what we aim at. Right. So a quick overview about um, the course contents. 
the course contents here it's on a very very high level the detailed outline of the course contents will be available in the portal we will talk about the software development how a software development is done and then we will talk about testing test life cycles and the software life cycles and principles of testing objectives of testing and whatnot we will also talk about various testing types in depth. You can see here there are various testing types or methodologies involved. We will get into each one of these in detail so that you will have a clear understanding of what you would be when you are put into a real time project. For that, you should have a very good understanding of your basics, which will uh, be the foundation for the rest of your career. We will also talk about configuration management, defect reporting and tracking. We will also introduce to tools. Sometimes we will not sit and do stuff manually. We will get help from various tools and we will make use of those tools to carry out our testing effectively and efficiently. So we will have a quick overview of tools and automation frameworks and also an approach for testing of web-based applications so nowadays web-based applications are um, having a greater market share than any other applications so web-based applications be it hosted on web or on cloud have got a uh, demand to test in the sense that that particular type of application is very common and you could be testing one or the other web-based application so three out of four applications developed are on web and then we will also talk about the quality center which is known as the quality management tool or a project management tool now and we will talk about the basic and the advanced modules associated with it this is not just going to be theoretical we will have practical examples in place kind of analogy or a kind of uh, detailed information about each one of these modules and how it will fit into the complete life cycle of the software development definitely we believe that this course is going to make a lot of difference and uh, this particular course contents have been designed after a very diligent analysis about uh, the market and also what a software or uh, what an organization demands from a software test right so again to reiterate it is a very holistic approach about the contents the detailed contents will be hosted on the portal please go and have a look at the portal for further information of what we covered in each one of these in the sense it will be a little detailed than what you're seeing right now in front of your screen right and this particular total course is designed for about 20 hours and uh, we believe that these 20 hours of uh, attention towards this particular course will make a lot of difference all right so this is all about uh, con course contents now we will also talk about the outcomes of what you would be at the end of the course so you might be a beginner or a fresher or a professional uh, with a non-IT background you might be an experienced but you want to explore your interest in the field of software testing so first step is to learn the key concepts you will understand what those concepts are especially whatever the things that we spoke about just now you will go through each one of these concepts thoroughly understand them and correlate how it would fit into the field of testing then develop that skill develop that particular skill such that you will be able to apply your thought process when you are given a real-time application for testing so getting the key concepts is fine but how much you put your efforts in developing that skill further matters a lot when we talk about software industry then 
you will expose you will have an exposure to the testing trends so recently the trends have changed it's not uh, the same way it was operating 10 years before so we will talk about a uh, kind of trends in this particular course so what is that is key factor or how we do it it's all the way in which we do things very effectively nowadays the software development has changed multiple folds beyond one's wildest imaginations and it's no longer uh, tedious but it is a little straightforward and smooth and there are definitive set of rules guidelines and thumb rules associated with it, each one of the things that we do finally you will also have ability to execute a real time project okay i'm undergoing this training so what is guarantee that i will be able to be employable that might be the question uh, at this point of time first you need to understand the concepts and then we will also have all the examples to correlate with regards to the uh, real time projects or a kind of uh, simulated environment then you will have the confidence to execute that particular project in any real time finally we believe that you will be an employable software testing professional there is no doubt about it you can be a beginner or you can be a non it specialist maybe an experienced but a non it specialist but your core skills with this particular contents will make a lot of difference all right so you might be having a lot of questions in your mind what are the details like this is going to be a live program it's a live program and we will also upload the videos of the live program for your future references there will be an online support also an offline support sometimes you get a doubt when you are going through the video yes you will have support offline you will be able to go through your videos at any point of time based on your uh, premium membership and then you can avail the benefits of a premium membership so you might have a doubt when you are going through the recordings feel free to post your questions or there is a online chat or there is a forum so we have got various uh, tools that will help you to enhance your skills Right. If you need more information, detailed course outline, or date and time of the course, pricing and payment options, you can contact at qualitylearning.in, or you can log into the portal and see if you can get these information. These are all the information which would be available online. Uh, you can just log into qualitylearning.in to get the detailed course contents along with the date and time of the course and the pricing and payment options right so we are excited to launch this particular course and uh, hope we will be able to make a difference please do join us and you will be be assured that this particular course will make a lot of difference in your career thanks a lot we are very much excited to launch this program please stay tuned and join us Thanks a lot for taking time and watching this video. Have a great day. See you all in the live program. Thank you.